Are you ready for more fun facts with Discord? Cool. During the surrender at Yorktown, contrary to popular belief, Cornwallis didn't actually face George Washington when he turned his sword over, the official surrender, claiming to be sick that day. Instead, Brigadier General Charles O'Hara turned over Cornwallis' sword. So the next time your teacher asks you why you're taking a sick day, say that if Cornwallis can surrender and not be there that day, y'all don't gotta be there. The first two seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation costumes were a one-piece spandex sized smaller than the actors who wore them. The actors complained about how painful the spandex was, the lack of pockets, and Sir Patrick Stewart's chiropractor warned that the crew could face permanent injury. So about midway through season three, the crews of the Enterprise had a costume change. It was made of wool, came in two pieces, and most of the main crew got to wear the uniforms. The extras, on the other hand, they still had to wear the old uniforms. Well, to be fair, extras get turned out all the time, so they don't have to be there for the full day, so it's just one day of wearing a really crappy suit. But Sir Patrick Stewart, he was there all the time. You can turn a PS4 controller into a Bluetooth controller for other devices, such as a tablet, PC, etc., and use it to play mobile games, examples being Fortnite and Minecraft. You hold down the PS button and the share button at the same time till it blinks, meaning it is in pairing mode. Then you connect it like any other Bluetooth device. Very convenient for gamers that can't work on touchscreen controls. And also, I believe there is a method where you can use the Switch controllers as a Bluetooth device. And I didn't see gamers use it, but I see artists use it. So that is really handy. The first McDonald's franchise restaurant owned by Ray Kroc opened in Chicago suburb of uh, De Plains? De Plains in the Ocean? Des Plaines? That city, in 1955. There is a water deer. This one is stuffed, but this is what they typically look like. They're usually native to China or Korea, but some farms in the United States have bred water deer successfully. They're a very territorial species, especially during mating. In other countries where water deer have been imported, they're known as the vampire deer, for the long tusks, as you can see. That they look so goofy. I do not know if that's real. That is just too goofy looking. <laughs> Originally, Walt Disney himself was the voice of Mickey Mouse, followed by Jim McDonald and later Wayne Wallwine provided Mickey's distinctive voice. Mickey's new voice has not been officially announced. <clears throat> Guess again. Colors, according to psychology and multiple scientific studies, have different effects on either your brain or body. For example, the color red has been shown to speed up the human heartbeat, or of nightmares the most in a red-colored room. Yellow, in tandem with red, works as an appetite stimulant. McDonald's is really clever once you think about it, while blue actually serves as an appetite suppressant due to the fact that blue is rarely found in nature. So long story short, red speeds up heart rate, appetite stimulant, nightmare inducing, yellow, appetite stimulant, makes people lose their temper more often, blue, appetite suppressant, and pink, tranquilizer, makes people sleepy. So if you ever want to go to sleep, just embrace the power of punk. Researchers did a study of the relationship between people's happiness and their mortality, and found that people who feel they have a sense of purpose tend to have longer lives. When elderly participants felt their lives had a meaningful purpose, their chances of dying were reduced dramatically. Oh, that's really wholesome. And finally, the release of the film Psycho was heavily controlled. Patrons who had not yet seen the film would be segregated from those who had. There were hundreds of posters on every theater showing the film which hyped up the importance of seeing the film and not spoiling it for everyone else. And then there were even Pinkerton officers who would watch over the line to make sure that no one so much as hinted as the contents of the movie and risk spoiling it for the new viewers. On top of all this, it was the first movie to ever have scheduled times. Before then, People would just get a ticket and watch a short or two, maybe a full length movie, maybe a full lineup, whatever they felt like, and leave. With Psycho, you bought your ticket for the specific date and time and you stayed for that movie and that movie alone. Though people were allowed to leave early, it was heavily frowned upon. Imagine if they tried doing that for the Avengers movies.